Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy, and I am back with another 3-0 Mighty More Pound Rage review. I told you guys the day was coming when I got this thing right here, man. The Mighty Morphin Power Ranger 3016 scale White Ranger. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I already opened it up. I had to, I didn't have a choice. Shout out to Jason David Frank. This is he's the man, dog, no matter what, the greatest ranger of all time. So I got this figure. I had to open it up, take it out the box, and I must say, man, this thing is immaculate man the green ranger is still my first favorite he's always gonna be my first favorite no matter what but the white ranger man it's gonna be a close it's a, it's a second man because this thing is freaking awesome i cannot wait to take this out of the box so you guys can see the details the accessories and everything else but before i do all that man we got to talk about this box artwork man the white ranger logo on the side as you guys can see you got the white ranger in the front with the logo man this thing is crazy Crazy raw man, three zero stamp on the bottom in the right corner, three zero stamp there, the right ranger, three zero stamp here. Turn it to the back. You got the posable uh scenes right here, man. Let me tell you something. Buying the six pack is cool. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking anybody who got the six pack. I think it's great, but me buying them individually and spending a little extra cheese or extra money, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that it's it's, it's okay for me to do that because having each individual box. I think it's amazing because it has their own color and it has its own swag. So that's what I like about buying all the individual bo individual boxes, man. This thing is awesome, man. This White Ranger is off the chain, bro. I, I love it. Like I say, I already took it out. I opened it and I was so thirsty. I was on my way home from work. My fiance picked me up and grabbed my package and I opened it up in the car. That's how thirsty I was to see it. So I'm so happy I got the White Ranger, man. Shout out to Short Thing. I mean, shout out to Sad Show. I appreciate you guys having that White Ranger in stock, man. I really do. They got it to me in two days. It was really dope. I appreciate that. Shout out to you guys, Sideshow. But enough about this, man. I'm finna open this thing up, take it out of the box so y'all can see the Ranger and show you the details. But before I do that, I got to show you the accessories to come with. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. As you can see, I have the accessories out. Before I talk about the accessories, I, I wanted to show you guys something. I forgot. I forgot to show you this on the last one. Um, but pretty much, you guys know uh, how it is. I'm actually showing sure it to you sideways. So you guys know they have this great pose of the White Ranger. It's like each individual box. I think this is pretty dope. So yes, I am going back and forth so you can see everything on the side. I'm sorry about that, guys. But this thing is freaking awesome. But great pose. Great, great artwork. Love the box. Love the box. So, all right, enough about that. Uh, so the accessories. So we got, of course, the two fists that are closed. Posable fist, of course. Um, I'm kind of grow fond to the one six scale fist because, of course, they're bigger, um, more detailed. So I am going to use these to make separate poses. I do wish they was matted instead of uh, pure white because in the show, they're not all white. They're kind of dirty. So I kind of like that. Then you also have here the two open hands that it came with when you opened up the um, Ranger. I took them off because I'm using them for other things. Um, you guys be careful when you take these off. Uh, the peg in there is is not delicate, but you know it is hard to get off, and if you you know pull it the wrong way, you will break it. And of course, you got uh, another pose hand with the thumb pointed down, and you got another grip hand. One of the other grip hands is already on the ranger, and another poseable hand is on there too. And I'll show you guys that uh, when I show you the figure. And then last but not least, we have Saba, and man, Saba. It's dope. I love the way they did the artwork for Saba, man. It's, it is so spot on. It is definitely so accurate, man. Turn it to the back. You got the scales of the Tiger Zord here. Turn around to the front. You got the eyes. I think this thing is just fire all the way around. The mouth is open a little bit. And then be careful when you do this part. It does extend out. So be careful. You don't want to break it. It's got the Tiger, the, the Tiger Zord power coin. On both sides, it does extend out to make it the full Saba blade, Saba sword blade. This thing is just awesome, man. I love this thing. I have no complaints about this shit. This thing is dope. It is definitely sure accurate with the grayer tan and then the lighter tan here for the blade, make it like a real sword. The Saba head, you can have it turned this way. We holding it, or we holding the sword mode. You can hold it this way. It's freaking awesome, man. It's freaking awesome. So like I say, these are the accessories, man. Uh, uh, the White Ranger. I cannot wait till I get um, Lord Dragon, but we'll talk about that when I get Lord Dragon. But he is coming. Uh, but now I'm going to show you guys the White Ranger in all his glory and get to the details of the White Ranger. Um, you guys know how I do. Do a couple of poses. Uh, use the B-roll footage. 
do my inspiration, my shout outs to give you guys some words of encouragement, man. You guys stay tuned, man. This is going to be a very exciting video. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see I've taken them out of the box finally. And once again, uh, I must say, guys, seeing this out of the box, seeing having this in person, it does us no justice. Um, if you guys do collect these and you guys get yourself the right range of freaking, you're going to know what it feels like to have this thing. And I must say, man, it is amazing. Um, just detail all the way around, spot on from the show, from the boots to the calves, the, the calf sleeves, forearm sleeves, the helmet, the vest. The six rangers on any show always get the best accessories, the best weapons, the coolest swords. I don't know why they did that, but they did. But all every every six ranger on any Power Ranger show always has gotten the best of everything. But nonetheless, this White Ranger figure is immaculate. The detail on this is definitely, definitely good quality artwork. Shout out once again to 3-0 and, and um, uh, Hasbro because, man, this thing is crazy, man. I'm going to take it off the turnstiles to get y'all to see y'all can get a closer look, man, at this thing and this glory in itself, man, and just getting this close to it. It is amazing. Um, just on the side note, you guys, please wash your hands before you touch your White Ranger figure. It is white, and you know how it stains. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So, of course, you know you got the feet. You got the three zero here. Come on, zoom in for me. There we go. And you got the Hasbro on the other side here. And then you turn it up. You got the gray gold gold flake here with the black trim. This is a big cow sleeve is what I'm going to call it. Man, very, very articulate. You got the double B in here in the knee. Like I say, you guys, the material with these uh, Palm Rangers 1-6 scales, man, are amazing. They have, it is very flexible, very neat. I don't have it in that post on. I want to have the wrinkle in the knee. Same thing with the other knee. Good being here. Uh, good pivot action. This is about the only Achilles heel when it comes to these is the ankle pivot. Uh, but I guess it did that for posable features only. Um, it does do a split. I'm not going to stretch it too far. As you guys can see, it's already stretching. It does have a forward leg kick here. Pretty good bend uh, for the most part. I'm not going to be bending it that high, of course. Uh, same thing here. I love that sound. As we know, the, the figure is really stiff, and it will hold the pose as well. You got the White Ranger. Uh, supposed to be like the power, power morpher, but his is like sealed up on the inside. Turn to the side. So this is one of the other hands that it came with. It holds Saba, I think, with the head facing forward. So that's why I put that one on. We're going to use it. I think it's pretty hot. Double between the elbow, as you can see. It's got the gold ring on the bicep. Same thing as the way Ranger had in the show. Turn it to the other side. Same thing here. Got the other opposable hand, the closed hand, if you want to hold it in sword mode. It also has the double bend here, and it has the pocket to put the Saba sword in as well. To put Saba in, not Saba sword, Saba in, for that matter. Um, does have good range up here. It does not have full 360 motion because of the, um, the shield here. Or the vest is what I call it. Uh, same thing here. Good arm movement here. Got the gray gold here on the, on the forearm here with the black trim. Like I say, this thing is the back in the bag. Turn to the back. This is off the chain. Got the belt towards the back. Can't complain. Then, of course, you got the helmet. And, man, this helmet is freaking amazing. It is, like, accurate as ever. Like, God, how did they do this, with this to this weapon? To this helmet. Like, Jesus. This thing is bad, like, man, no no chips, no dings, no dings. It does have full range of motion, back and forth. It does have 360 motion, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, it does come off, I'm not taking it off right now because I just don't want to. Um, but man, the Tiger Zor helmet is so spot on. This thing is sick. Man, I thought I was in love with the Green Ranger, but he is definitely, definitely a close second, man. Definitely a close second. Jesus Christ. But I'm gonna put it back on the turnstile, you guys, so you can get some more, some more shots of him on the turntable. Man, this thing is just, ooh, man, it is so immaculate. Let me get that zoom back, give you a little close-up view. And shout out to, you notice I got my collection. You got, I got the six core sitting back here, you know what I'm saying, green, black, pink, you know what I'm saying, blue, yellow, and red. I tried to do it in the way they morph. Uh, so I guess if you haven't tried to pay attention, that's what I try to do for the most part. Um, but man, this White Ranger is off the chain. And of course, you guys might got Red Ranger Dragon Shield. If you guys watch that, if you guys have not watched that video, please watch that video. I greatly appreciate it. As well as all my other videos, when we kind of want to scale 
and the rest of the videos from the Lightning Collection that I have, Marvel and et cetera, et cetera. My man, the rate, you know, you already know I'm going to give it a 10, man. It's, there's nothing wrong outside of the, the ankle part that any 3-0 collector is complaining about for the most part and the gloves. The figure is, 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 is it's amazing. They, I don't see any flaws in it. There's none. The, the material is just like the show. The suit is just like the show. The Saba sword is functional. The weapons are built. I mean, not the weapon, the hands are built with a good hard plastic. And they, even if you bend them out, they retract back. Like I said, man, for 100 this one, I think I paid 119 for the White Ranger. They taxed the extra $20 because it was the White Ranger. Uh, so they did tax a little bit more, but that was okay. I didn't care about that because I just had to have it. Man, this Ranger is sick. So I am going to give you guys some B-roll footage of him and the Green Ranger on here too, man, because you know, Jason David Frank, and of course I'm biased because I love Jason David Frank. Shout out to Jason David Frank again. Uh, I have to meet him again and get him to sign these other figures that I have uh, from him. So I can have his signatures on all my collectibles when it comes to him and the rest of the Rangers. I have to find them all. So um, I'm going to get to these cons and stuff like that. But that's going to be pretty much the end of this video, you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, once again, I, I love this White Ranger figure, man. This thing is dope. So I am going to leave him out. And I'm, I actually am going to pull all my Rangers out uh, once I'm done with this video, of course, and just sit them on the table and just and just look at them, I'm gonna take pictures. So you guys be looking out for pictures on my Instagram page, Drew GZ Collectibles. Look out for them on my Facebook page, once again, Drew GZ Collectibles. Um, at the end of my video, you can see where my uh, social medias are. Please hit that subscribe button, you guys. But if you're watching this video for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Please hit that bell for all post notifications. Please hit the thumbs up. Please leave comments on whether you, whether you like it or you don't, whether they're good or bad, man, please leave the comments. I read them. I do reply back. Thank you guys so much. To my current subscribers and supporters, thank you so much. I have reached 100 subscribers as of yesterday, so thank you guys so much for giving me that first milestone for YouTube. And like I say, guys, I'm going to continue to grind, continue to keep pushing, continue to bring you guys content. I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys watch all the way to the end. And I'm trying to just take this chance to a whole new level, man. I'm trying to do something different from what nobody else is doing. I am going to more cons. We will get more vlog footage from the cons. So you guys stay tuned for that. I have more stuff coming for my collectible channel. Uh, I got Running Warriors coming. I got uh, Demon Slayer stuff coming. I got more one six scale Power Rangers coming. I got one six scale Marvel characters. I got a lot of stuff coming, you guys. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Please watch the channel. You know what I'm saying? And continue to support. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, shout out to all my YouTube inspiration. Shout out to CJ on 32 for getting that second Lambo, man. You are one of my biggest inspirations, man. I see you. You out here grinding every day, man. And even with me working a full-time job, man, I'm still out here trying to grind like you, trying to get content up every other day. You know what I'm saying? I may not do it every day, but every other day, every two days, I try to get content out, man. So shout out to CJ on 32 man. You are doing big things. Shout out to my other biggest uh, YouTube subscriber, YouTube inspiration, which is Tall Guy, man. He's doing big things. He's taking his YouTube channel. And did it to a whole new level, man. So I'm just doing car reviews, turning it to a whole vlog about his life, man. If you guys haven't um, watched him, please go watch him, man. He's great, man. Mr. Organic, shout out to him, man. Do your thing, bro. I also follow you, too. I got both your books, man. I do read them. Shout out to I Amy mean, the Hellcat. Congratulations on that proposal. Um, who else I forget? Uh, oh, man, there's so many people. PJ on Dirty Shoes. Uh, crap. This, I'm, man, I'm trying to think about who else that I watch on a regular basis. CJ Soku, Life with Corey. Shout out to all them guys. Anybody who doing YouTube, man, and they're doing big things, man, shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to my friend, uh, Indy, as well. She just hit 100,000 subscribers. So, Indy, congratulations on that. You are definitely an inspiration as well, man. You're an inspiration, sweetie, and I will be reaching out to you soon to talk to you about how you did that. Try to get in your head, get a little giblet. Last but not least, shout out to 76, a.k.a. Pandora's Box, a.k.a. 3 the Hard Way. You know what I'm saying? They out here grinding every every weekend doing podcasts you guys talking about topics people don't like talking about man so shout out to all three of them women uh, Fo uh foxy xanatos ruben s pink and missy chan shout out to all three of them women they are doing big things um but that's gonna be in this video you guys i greatly appreciate you guys watching the video so much but i'm gonna give you my slogan like i always do this is your boy drew jeezy competition is always easy you guys be safe you guys be blessed. Until the next time, you guys, I am out.